this video, we will be looking at the first steps you should take after signing up to Verify. This will include setting up your account and getting familiar with the available tools to make sure you get the most out of using Verify for your bookkeeping. The very first thing you should do is make sure your settings are configured correctly. Start with your profile settings. Here you can change your profile image, make sure your contact details are correct, and configure your various defaults and preferences. Finally, we have some notification settings that are used to alert you about things like duplicate documents, missing data, and so on. For an in-depth explanation of these settings, see the description to this video. Next, navigate to your company settings. You can update your company logo at the top here, then make sure your company details are correct. The bottom section contains company-wide settings and also some permission settings for non-admin team members. Like the profile settings, if you'd like a more detailed explanation of all these settings, see the description below this video. While you're inside settings, take a note of your at verify.cc email address. Aside from collecting receipts, invoices and bills using the Verify app on iOS or Android, you can also do this by emailing these documents to your personal at verify.cc email address. Now would be a good time to add your verify.cc email address to your address book so you won't have to look for it later. You can also set up auto-forwarding rules in your email account to automatically send any invoices, bills and receipts that you receive by email straight to Verify for processing. You can learn more by watching our video titled Email your receipts, bills and invoices to Verify. Next on the list is your cloud accounting integration. If you're already using QuickBooks, Xero, Sage or any other accounting app that Verify integrates with, you can connect your account here. Simply click the appropriate connect button to get started. Verify also integrates with cloud storage services such as Dropbox, Google Drive, Box and a few others. So if you'd like to keep an extra backup of your documents in Verify in your cloud storage account, you can set that up on this page as well by clicking the appropriate connect button. When you're done with your integrations, it's time to set up your payment types. To improve the accuracy of detecting the payment types on your receipts, add all your payment types here. When Verify identifies the payment type on your receipts, which usually appears as the last four digits of your card number, the corresponding payment type from your list will be attributed to that document. If you have connected your accounting app, such as QuickBooks or Xero to Verify, you should also connect your payment types in Verify to the corresponding account in your accounting app. This will ensure that documents are synced to the correct account in your accounting app. Next, make sure your categories are complete and correct for your needs. Verify gives you a standard list of categories when you create your account. If you need to adjust this list in any way, you can do so on this page. You can add a new category using this Add Category button at the top. You can delete any unwanted categories. Or to make any changes to existing categories, you can do so inline by simply clicking on the field you'd like to change. If you've connected your accounting app to Verify, your list of categories should now have been replaced with your chart of accounts from your accounting app. This will allow your documents to sync to the correct account in your accounting app. At this point, you're ready to start collecting documents. There are multiple ways of doing that. One of these ways we've already touched on, namely by emailing your digital documents to your at verify.cc email address. Another way is directly through this online hub. Simply drag and drop your images or PDF files into this area and they will appear in your documents inbox as soon as they're processed. When collecting physical documents, the best way to do so is through the Verify mobile app. This app works similar to your phone's camera app, but has a lot of intelligence built in to clean up the images that are sent to Verify. This includes things like ensuring correct lighting is used, correcting perspective distortion, and automatically cropping out any background noise outside of the document you're scanning. To download the app, head to either the App Store or Google Play and search for Verify. If you plan to use Verify to reconcile your bank and credit card transactions against collected documents, you can connect your bank and credit card accounts on this bank feeds page. For a full run through bank feeds in Verify, read the description below this video. Now that you've got your account up and running, it's time to onboard your team. This is done on the My Team page. Use the Add Team Member button at the top to add each of your team members. Once your team has been added, you can set up their monthly budget schedule if appropriate and limit the categories in their individual lists to avoid overload and confusion. If your team performs project work in different geographical locations, 
you may be interested in Verify's geofence-driven automated time tracking. Get started by going to the projects page and add your first project. The geofence you draw here will be used to automatically clock your team members in when they arrive and clock them out when they leave the site. For automated project time tracking, your team will need Verify's Timesheet app, which is available on iOS and Android. Simply search for Verify Timesheets on the App Store or Google Play. To learn more about projects and automated time tracking, look for our video titled Project Management and Timesheets in Verify, a step-by-step -step walkthrough. If you use an external accountant and or bookkeeper, you can empower them with real-time visibility of your company's finances by inviting them to Verify. This helps reduce exchanging paperwork and communicating the state of your business over phone or email. To invite your accountant or bookkeeper, follow this invite link, then fill in this quick form and click send invite. If you follow the steps in this video and still need help getting up and running with Verify, you can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one training session with us. All we ask is that you've watched all the relevant videos mentioned in the description below and make sure you write down any specific questions you'd like answered. At Verify, we love feedback because it helps us make sure we're building the right product to meet your needs. If you leave us feedback on Captera, let us know and we will give you $15 credit towards your Verify subscription. For any other questions, comments or feedback, reach out to us at support at